A report released by police the day after the shooting shows the initial fight was over a bag of chips. Hmm. It turned physical and then ended when law enforcement... So they were trying to bully him over his bag of chips. ...year old fired one shot that hit both 13-year-old boys. Really? What? How long? That's a sharp shooter. That boy said one shot that hit both? Oh, now what's the mud from the cane deal? Welcome back to Sheldon's Bully Gas Studio. We come to kick it, vibe out, and shoot this shit with Sheldon, man. I appreciate each and every last one of y'all for pulling up. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's go and get up into this news of today. Now, an 11 year old boy has been arrested for shooting two 13 year old football teammates during practice over a bag of chips. Man, these kids is getting buck wild out here, man. I did a video. And I don't know if I'm going to upload it or not because the audio on it was trash. I had complications with my uh, system. There was a sophomore who got caught with a handgun at school. And it is just outrageous that these kids are doing these things out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, at football practice, you're supposed to be worried about football. You got to have a gun with you at practice for your teammates at that. That's the cold part. It ain't... To protect you on your way back and forth from football practice. It's for your teammates. I don't get it. But I digress. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Let's, let's see what's going down. If you ain't fucking with my nigga Sheldon, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. Video from a city camera shows the 11-year-old opening the passenger door of his mother's car and reaching inside. Oh. He turns and within seconds opens fire. We in the passenger door so you had it you knew because if it was in possession of your mom or she probably would have had it in the armrest or in the passenger door you know what i'm saying or in the glove compartment the glove box but you had it in the passenger door so that means you riding with that thing ready paused it here and chosen not to show you the aftermath because of the age of the people involved It's a sad day when an 11 year old can gain access to a firearm. Police say the 11 year old knew where to get the gun in a box under the passenger seat. Mm. Law enforcement says his mother was inside the car waiting for practice to end Monday night. One of the first calls for help after the shooting came from a parent of one of the 13 year old victims. Uh, this started as an argument over something at the Pop Warner practice. Apopka police say the two older boys were chasing the 11 year old to the car in the parking lot. The video shows that wow, two older kids. Oh, OK, but they still don't. You know what I'm saying? This, yeah. The mm. chief says it shows the victim's backs were turned when he pulled the trigger. I think the video shows that it went beyond bullying the two victims because once he got to the car they probably figured that he was going to be with his mama then so they ain't they they probably was like okay he done got to his mama now let's retreat you know what i'm talking about we're running away when the shot was fired a report released by police the day after the shooting shows the initial fight was over a bag of chips hmm. it turned physical and then ended when law enforcement so they were trying to bully weapon. him over his bag of chips year old fired one shot that hit both 13 year old boys really? what that pop warner field? how long that's a sharp shooter that boy said one shot that hit both that boy literally killed two birds. Well, I ain't going to say kill, but he, you know what I'm saying? You know the term. I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone. That's what happened right here, man. You know what I'm saying? No pun intended. Like, what? Old fired one shot that hit both 13-year-old boys. Really? Whoa. At Pop Warner Field? This is one of the most safest uh, fields. Calvin Cabarrus is a former pastor. I hate to say it, but that kid's a natural. God damn. Stir for Pop Warner. Do you think it speaks to a bigger issue? It's a much bigger issue because, as you can see, over the last month, all of the violence that's taken place in our area has been with teens. A Popka Pop Warner's board released a statement saying, in part, they will keep parents informed as they work through this difficult time together. The chief of police says it's time for the entire community to reflect. Young juveniles, and they're getting younger every day, that have access to guns. But the more disturbing part is that they believe that that gun, that firearm, is a resolution to their problem. 
the 11 year old boy because of what the grown ups is doing attempted murder charge the chief of police says it is likely his mother will face a misdemeanor charge because the gun was not secure I'm up, fucking 11 years old though like she you see how quick he ran to the car do y'all think he, that she knew that he was going to grab that if it was in a box under the under the passenger seat Mm -hmm. Cause it happened kind of quick, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, let me know how I feel about this in the comment section below. If you vibed all the way out to the end, I really do appreciate you. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, I'm Sheldon sure Vibes. I'm gonna need y'all to be cool like the other side of the pillow. Stay light on your toes like you suppose. Oh yeah, no. If you ain't fucking with my nigga Sheldon, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, God.